Hi, I'm Barry Jane from Barry Jane Makes and I'm going to show you how I make an oval shaped Amish knot rug. So this is made from a double duvet cover, double duvet cover, and it's been cut into strips of approximately one inch wide. It's quite a flexible type of rug as well. I've also made this one, which is also made from a double duvet, but it's not completed yet. This is cut into approximately one and a half inches wide. Let me check. Oh no, approximately two inches wide. <laughs> and it's a slightly thicker rug. You can even make it wider if you want. The wider the strips of fabric, the thicker your rug will be, but the more fabric you will need. You will start by creating a long spine and then working back on itself. And obviously just keep going round. So the main points where you would actually add extra knots would be these two points, these two points. After a certain point in the rug, you will need to add extra knots on the side. I think once you start doing it, you will have an idea of where you need to place your extra knot. This is more of a guide of how I do it and hopefully it will help you to create your own oval shaped rug. If you need to know how to join the fabric, how to make your own needle, how to create the knots, please have a look at the link which should be up here which will lead you to one of my other videos and that will give you everything you need to know. So in this video I'm just going to try and hopefully speed along. So you need to attach your fabrics together. What I do is I trim off some of the corner of the fabric so that when I create the knot it's not as bulky. I'm going to do it this way only because my spine is one continual piece. Just got to find the end. There we go. To make life a little bit easier is I have one of these ring binders which I put some blue tack onto it and then stick it down onto the table. I get a washing peg and I pin this onto the binder. This is then placed between myself and my table. So I'm going to create my knots. I'm going to create about 15 knots. I think both the rugs I made, which I showed you, had a different amount of starting knots. And I think that's 15. <laughs> okay, so when I get to here, now the spine is going to work its way up there. Okay, so now you can find the pink parts of the spine, and that's where you're going to create your new knots. Attach my needle. Go under, through. If you place it flat, it's generally a little bit easier. Let me just move this up. So we find the next part of the spine. Go under. I just keep doing that. I 
this was where I started so I'm going to create two knots here It does do a little twisty thing, but it will correct itself after a while. So that was one knot, two knots. Okay, then we're going to continue all the way up here. And then when we get to the top, at the topmost point, we'll create another two knots. going to do now is put two knots in this one and see what happens because there's quite a big gap here now all right so I'm going to put two knots no tell a lie I'm going to put two knots in this one that would make more sense you just have to decide for yourself where you're going to put the knots so I'm going to put it there hopefully it's going to work out okay I'm going to put one knot here. Have a look. I think I'll put two knots in there. One. That looks okay. Then I'll continue, and when I get to this end, provided I remember, I'll put two knots here and two knots here. But I'll probably forget. I'm going to do two here. That bit's become quite central, so I'm just going to do one in that one. Then I'm going to do two in this one. I suppose sometimes you can't really tell what you need to do until you get there. I was able to go around twice more without adding any more knots. So it is still very oval. But now at this point, because these are becoming quite wide here, I feel that I need to add two knots in these and then possibly two knots in these so that this comes out a little bit more and that elongates a little bit more. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see how it goes. So 
So one knot here. And then here I'm going to do two. in that one I think I'm going to leave that as a single And put a double in there. I think that's absolutely fine said I was going to do one thing I did something else <laughs> it's worked out okay so what I've done now is I've gone around a couple of times and some of the times obviously I didn't need to create any extra knots but when I did I may have put two knots around here and then two knots here or I may have put two extra knots here and two extra knots there so obviously you just see what looks right to you. And this is where I'm going to start adding double knots for every two holes. So I'll double knot, miss, sorry, double knot, one knot, double knot, one knot, if that makes sense. So here we go. What I'm gonna do is put a peg so that I remember. <laughs> roughly where I started. So I'll continue all the way around doing one knot per hole, per space, and then I will start to add double knots around here and possibly around here but as I go around I'll sort of see how I feel at the moment I don't know if it shows this side seems a little bit more pointy so I may need to make sure that I make this side a little bit more pointy but I'm pleased with that so these are my three oval rugs And eventually get that big and then get that big and to finish the rug try and finish it on the slight bend I find it looks a bit tidier and then just find a way of tucking it through turning it over slot it through Example like that, and then just tie it 
without pulling and then your rug is complete okay i hope this has inspired you to make your own rug and make your own needle thank you for watching thank you for subscribing to my channel thank you for all the beautiful messages that you've sent and for all the lovely thumbs up too so thank you again and happy crafting